Stevie, Irish Cup day today, of course, and we got the win, but it wasn't easy. It was hard fought. We only had 10 players. Yeah, it didn't. Look, like, what I thought the game was going to look like when it started, first five minutes, completely transformed with with the with the refereeing decision uh, i don't want to go into too much detail but i think a lot of things had to be adjusted because of the refereeing decision which on record i'd have to say was was it at best at best dubious and if i'm being honest it was it was a poor decision do you think the officials are going to have a look at that is there going to be an appeal or you're just not thinking about it at this nah, stage i mean listen i I don't think it's worth it. I, don't, I, 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 I even afterwards, I probably had a chance to speak to the referee, but I just thought to myself, what's the point? There's, there's, there's not going to be any, any, uh, anything rescinded, Judy. I'm, I'm just disappointed for, for, for players who, who I thought, while we had 11 men, we completely controlled the game. We're playing some of our best football for, for quite a while, and and and. and we then had to adjust the whole thing, and there's players had to had to maybe be taken off who 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 shouldn't have left the field because they were performing really well. As you said, it changed the game, mm -hmm. but thankfully Gary Donnelly, who has been playing really really well, lovely ball in for Cathal Farn. Well, he he actually he actually took it at the back post with uh, he, he he tapped it in, but his movement was really good, delivery of the ball was really good, and I think I think we were we were on our way to to, to maybe create, and I think we even created four or five chances with 10 men in the second half so listen as they say the main thing is just being in, being in the in, in the hat for the next round and I think I think that's the most important thing but I, I think we lost an opportunity through the referee decision today to be able to to show what we can do football wise they did have some chances but our defense again who have been really strong and McGrandless player of the match today you know really good performance yeah I, look I thought everybody when it, especially when we went down to 10 men, showed a lot of commitment, determination and discipline to play the way they played for, for, long, for a long period. And, and I, thought, I thought that was, that was a big takeaway from today. But, you know, even with 10 men, we created more chances than them. I think a lot of their chances were, were probably long balls, crosses into the box, and I don't think they had any guilt edge chances. Most important thing is we're in the hat for the mm -hmm. next round. Will you be looking for one of the big teams at, at home? No, I think I think for me, you know, I'd like a home game, but I'd also like I'd also like to get a game that, that we feel that that uh, that it's it's not the team above us and we, we, we have an opportunity to progress even further because I think getting to maybe the latter stages of the competition would be great for the club. And you made another signing, of course, to strengthen the squad, Alan McMurtry mm -hmm. from the Welders, who has a wealth of experience yeah. in the championship. Another really good signing. Yeah, he's a young, he's a young lad I've worked with before uh, at Belfast Met uh, with our football academy. He's got good pedigree, well coached. He was at Linfield when he was when he was younger, and and he now he now has a wealth of experience in the championship. So yeah. We've, we've, we've done well. Player retention in the window is probably our biggest focus because we've got good players anyway. But but yeah, the two the two lads we've brought in definitely will will add something to the team and the squad. And are there going to be any other signings in the January window? Or I, th I think, as I say, player retentions are our big focus because when when you're doing particularly well, which which we kind of have been doing, I think I think you could, you could be you potentially could lose some of your players. So. Player retention is massive, um, and I think I think we're we're well on the way to keeping keeping players that we that we have in the squad. And if if we got an opportunity to add one more, I'd be delighted. But if we didn't, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the end of the world. Yeah, we've got a good enough squad yeah. anyway. Our focus changes then back to the league next Saturday, another home game. Yeah. Of course, we've been in a good run of form. It's been is it six seven games since yeah. we've lost a match, so yeah, seven, confidence yeah. should be should be good going into that one. Yeah, well, it, should, it, it should be good. I think if we can just focus on the first the first 30 minutes that we played today I think that should be our focus rather than the rest of it the rest of it was just getting through the game but the first 30 minutes I thought we played particularly well and I think I think if we can focus on on that for next week I think that would be that would be that'd be us maybe getting into the game a bit more confident about about getting a result